Hi, welcome to Goddess House Healing Temple and Education Centre. It's a beautiful Georgian building here in the sacred Isle of Avalon, Glastonbury. And I want to welcome you here today and talk to you about what goes on in the house itself and what season we are in, because every season we like to change our altar and we celebrate the different seasons. And right now we've just changed to Yule time. And Yule time, it's all about the winter solstice. And even though the winter solstice, of course, is the shortest day of the year, we're actually looking forward to the light coming back there afterwards and having longer days of light. Of course, that takes quite a bit of time. So it's a time of peace, a time of stillness, a time of connecting to ancient ancestors and to infinite possibility of all that there is in the universe. It's a beautiful time. And here in the house, we welcome people here and we welcome them to enjoy all that we have here, whether it be rooms to do their own workshops and events. We have all sorts of things, wonderful things going on here. Or whether or not people come here to receive healing themselves, to receive the wonderful different array of healing and therapies that we have to offer here in this beautiful space. I'm Rachel, I am a priestess here, and I am an intuitive healer and medium and an angel therapy practitioner. So what I do is, if you allow me to, is to connect to your beautiful soul, to your amazing soul, and to see what is around you. So to connect to your soul, connect to goddess, and to connect to your own team of holy beings, such as guides, animal guides, spirit guides, healing guides, and of course your departed loved ones and ancestors. And I will bring through for you messages and also healing as required. And that sometimes I put my hands on you. If, if I'm guided to move energy, that is not for your highest good. In order to put more energy that is for your highest good. <laughs> it's magical, it's transformational, and it's something that I am just so happy to offer. Before somebody comes to see me, I set up the room, I set up an altar for them. And um, before I come here for the day, I tune in and <laughs> go around my house and bring things in. I never know who they're for until I meet somebody or I tune in before I meet somebody. So for example, you see I'm holding this elephant. Um, this elephant wanted to come for my next client. And also, I know, I sense that I'm going to be using this beautiful rose quartz crystal. Um, so they are going on to the altar. And, um, and then these other things that I hear are specific for this next client. So the elephant, the elephant wants to remind you that there are no obstacles in the way apart from the ones that you put there. Because mm. you know we all create our reality from our words, our thoughts and our actions. So the elephant is just reminding you that no matter what is going on or what's seemingly going on, everything is exactly as it should be.